This is the story of a man named Paul Byrne and 144 liters of water and an egg timer. Paul was a man of very few spoken words. In five years, Paul had spoken less than 20,000 words, while the average human will have spoken several million. However, in that same five years, Paul had written exactly 2,573,432 words. That was because Paul Byrne is a writer. Every day, Paul would submerge himself in a bathtub filled with exactly 144 liters of water and would hold his breath until his lungs screamed for air. The reason why Paul held his breath in 144 liters of water was directly proportional to the reason why he was a writer. Paul suffered from writer's block. And Paul knew, as all writers do, the only way to overcome writer's block was to subject his subconscious to mild trauma to jar him loose from his mental seizure. However, the equanimity of holding his breath underwater provided the opposite effect that he'd been hoping for. Paul discovered that every time he submerged himself underwater, he was able to remain there a few seconds longer until finally, today, he had been able to remain submerged for exactly four minutes and 15 seconds. The longer Paul suffered from writer's block, the more withdrawn he became, and the less he spoke. It was as if the phenomenon of breath holding had drawn him into a vortex of dysfunction in which he was sinking deeper and deeper. And every day he watched life progress around him while he remained unable to write a single word. Having said that, Paul still nurtured two other indulgences. One of them was chess. In fact, for some time now, Paul had been playing chess with someone he didn't know. He didn't know his opponent's age, or gender, or where they were on the planet. What he did know was he'd never won a game, which obsessed him to keep playing. The other indulgence Paul had become drawn into had distanced him even further from the world around him, even more than his writing, a secret world that he would not even share with his wife. Because the... Because the fact was, Paul Byrne was a spy. <laughs> 